All right, it is that conversation that I promised you earlier that we want to dive into. This Kenya, rather, being um, the only country within Africa that has the first testing software applications. Of course, this is a big thing in regards to um, technology here in Kenya in a race to keep up with their Big Four agenda, which includes universal care and housing. The government, in partnership with Microsoft Corporation and Technobrain, has launched a 100 million shilling software testing center in Nairobi. The first in Africa. This center is the only fourth such outsourced center for Microsoft after China, Poland and India. And according to recent research done by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, the recent rate of unemployment in the country is at 7 percent, meaning approximately 9 million Kenyans are out of the job. Bearing this in mind, Deputy President William Ruto noted that the testing center will benefit 1.4 million Kenyans searching for jobs and positions and positioning Kenya as a benchmark of quality assurance and innovation. Furthermore, it will also boost the economic environment, which has been grim last year due to the prolonged electioneering drought and a decreased credit uptake within the private sector. I have Anand, Anand Mohan, who is the COO of Technobrain. Mr. Mohan, it's so good to have you this morning. This is such a big win within technology here in Kenya and more so within Africa because it's the first of its kind. Like we've seen, we only have one in China, Poland and India, and this being in Kenya. Yes. Why is this more so a big deal? It is a really big deal because it creates a lot of jobs. Right. And number two, it creates real engineering and computer science jobs mm -hmm. and sustainable jobs. Uh, there are about close to a billion people use Microsoft and Windows related products. Mm -hmm. And there are so many products that get released every month, every year. Before they get released to the end users, mm -hmm. they need to be tested properly for all the bugs, functionality, everything that goes into the product. So they, um, Microsoft and Technobrain came together about a year back, started mm -hmm. discussing about this huge project, which the technology center, testing center, tests all the products before it gets released to the market. Mm -hmm. For example, you have a Windows laptop. Mm -hmm. Now you have a KTN application on it. Now the next version of the Windows software, when it's going to be released, now we have to check whether KTN application will be working on that new Windows platform or not. Here in Kenya, it's a big deal for us because it can create thousands of jobs. Right. right. And it also creates an ecosystem of the tech technology world because all the associated things have to come together. For example, if you're testing Windows, it's a the software. Then you need to produce devices. There has to be innovation of integration with the devices and the software. So it creates the ecosystem and it also boosts the entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And that gives opportunities to many engineers in Kenya to create more and more products and to come with more innovation. So for, um, uh, from a layman's um, uh, language, what we're seeing is that all these softwares that are being developed, especially here in Kenya and also Africa, before they are then given out to the public, Technobrain and Microsoft are saying, hey, let us first of all test this out, right? Yes. And see whether they are of quality. Absolutely. And creating jobs is one of the first key things that this will be able to do. Absolutely. All right. And, Absolutely. When, uh, and, and, and for the global. Right. It's uh, for Kenya, for Africa, and from here, we are doing the application testing for the entire globe, okay. the whole world. From here in Nairobi? Exactly. And this already was launched yesterday, so it's already under works. It's already on live. And this is going to also, what it's going to do is going to cause a lot of employment. Like you said, a lot yes. for engineering students here in Kenya, a lot of the tech students and, and more so. Yes. Will we see some sort of a partnership then with universities? Absolutely. Or, uh -huh, tell Absolutely. me more. So we have, uh, in the first batch of uh, engineers which we picked up, mm -hmm. so we have uh, students from Strathmore University, we are from Jomo Kenyatta University and also from Nairobi University and a couple of other universities. Mm -hmm. Now as the center grows, then we are going to add hundreds and thousands of people. So we are proactively going to partner with these universities. Mm -hmm. And in the last year of their um, graduation, we are going to include this uh, as part of the curriculum in their, in their uh, computer science or the other degree that they are pursuing. Right. So that will create the uh, talent that is required for us. So these uh, academic partnerships will help us to create a big talent pool that can be ready-made available to be used in this testing center. Talk to me about the challenges, especially with software testing, that you guys saw and you decided to come together with Microsoft and say, there's this hole, let's fill it in. Yeah. And it can create opportunities. So talk to me about some of those challenges that you hope to seal. Sure. So the first challenge was uh, to get the, uh, all the compliance with related to information security. 
So we have to demonstrate that where we are going to have this testing facility is compliant with all the information security, mm. which means there is no data that can be leaked. There is a confidentiality that uh, can be maintained, both from physical and as well as from a software perspective. The process needs to be demonstrated that it's a full proof to protect the data, mm -hmm. especially protect the data. So that's one of the main challenge. Okay. So we being a Technobrain, being a SEI, CMMI level five organization, which is the world's top certification or the appraisal for any software company, we could demonstrate that, that information is secure and data is secure. Okay. The second challenge is to, um, to get all the, for example, we have uh, high, high um, uh, end equipment we have imported. Mm -hmm. okay. the, we have to set up a one GB data connection directly with the Microsoft headquarters in Redmond. Right. So you have to get some regulatory approvals right. to put all that in place. But these are, these are good challenges to have because you are going to create a, a first of its kind software testing center mm. in Nairobi, mm -hmm. for, in entire Africa. Mm -hmm. So these are the challenges, but we have come over. They're so, good challenges they're to good have. They're good challenges to have. Okay, and, 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 and then let's sort of take this now in sort of, um, I wanna say in a devolution point of view, county to county, because you will find, for example, a smart student all the way in Garissa, all the way in Turkana, or somewhere else different, right. has this brilliant idea, a software idea. Will we be able to see this same um, techno brain uh, be taken to counties, or will we be able to see techno brain bring these students into Nairobi with their softwares? Because you will find like there are so many smart techno oriented students in that are not based in Nairobi, and right. they have great ideas. Right. Yeah. So there are um, two parts to it. One, when we are scaling up the uh, resources and the center in Nairobi, right. obviously we look at all the universities. We look at the universities outside Nairobi, we go there, we set up the academic partnerships and we bring in them. Mm -hmm. The second part is, the center can grow so much that the, we can set up different centers in different counties as well. Mm -hmm. So the first center is in Nairobi, the next one could be in another county, the third one could be in another county. That way we also spread the centers across all the um, counties' locations mm -hmm. and we can have local academic partnerships. Mm -hmm. So in some of the places where such kind of work is taking place, um, there are 10,000 people in one center. So, and there are many centers like this. So this technology testing center can scale up to 500, 1,000, even 10,000. So if you want to build that kind of a scale, you can't do it in Nairobi alone. Mm -hmm. You have to go to different locations and make it inclusive from all the different universities across the country. Mr. Mohan, let me say, um, I have this brilliant idea, yes. this software. Uh, do I just walk into Mohan's, I mean, to Technobrain's offices? What process is there for a young person in Kenya to sort of now work with you? Fantastic question. So they can just go to um, technobraingroup.com website. Okay. And they can fill in the details, their idea. Immediately they get a call, we get a meeting, we sit across with them. We evaluate the idea, we help them to launch the idea. Okay. So if they have a mobile, they can just go to the mobile and from there, I mean, not even, they don't even need to go to website nowadays. They can go to a LinkedIn, they can go to Facebook, they can go to Twitter, and they can put their idea in a private message to Technobrain. And then we get in touch with them, we get them on board. And I'm glad that the CS um, w was there for the oh, launch. Yes, he was there. Do you feel as if the Kenyan government is paying enough attention to technology in Kenya and also technology and young people? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you like to see them do more? Yes, definitely yes. Mm -hmm. They are supportive. They are uh, very progressive. And whenever we have an idea, whenever we need some help, we always get the support. Mm -hmm. um, but we definitely need more, especially if you want to compete yeah. at a uh, global scale. If you want to compete with China, if you want to compete with India, then they have uh, good tax incentives. They have uh, uh, very good incentive schemes to promote the innovation. They have the uh, platforms. Not that we don't have, we have very good vehicles in Kenya. Mm -hmm. You just need to be skilled, needs to be uh, grow. And we need to um, encourage more and more um, companies to bring the business here. Mm -hmm. Because when you compete in US, in UK, we have to compete with Eastern European companies, we have to compete with Asian companies. Mm -hmm. So having a good incentive system for the um, technology companies will rapidly grow the entire ecosystem. I mean, honestly, this is a big win for Kenya's technology platform. And I'm glad you say that young people can come and they can pitch their ideas and you can help them grow them, etc. But if there's one thing that a lot of Kenyans, especially young people in technology for forums would rather ask is, how safe is my work? Copyright issues. 
how much can you guarantee them of that? Because some of them tend to shy away because of that. Yeah. Here's my idea, and it right. goes. Right. Yeah. So um, it's a very, very uh, interesting question um, because, first of all, we are talking about an ecosystem in terms of protecting the copyrights and intellectual property mm -hmm. from a regulatory and from a legal perspective. Um, and the second one is, let's say if the idea is out today with all the social media and the internet uh, that is there, so um, somebody can steal the idea and can, can go and do it. So people, have, people tend to keep the ideas to themselves. But if you look at the flip side of it, once you put your idea in the public, now it's difficult for somebody to copy also. Right. Because it kind of creates an authenticity or a stamp that it was your idea originally mm -hmm. which you brought it out. So one way it helps. The second is uh, Kenya has got a good intellectual property protection, uh, but today it's global. So if you want to, you don't need to be in US or you don't need to be in uh, EU to apply for intellectual property uh, protection or, um, uh, uh, or a copyright protection. You can just go to online and fill all the details and put the idea and the architecture and then you can get it mm -hmm. protected. Mm -hmm. but then there is a ICT authority also has a, a framework here which they are um, helping the lawyers to connect with the young entrepreneurs so that they can advise them. So companies like us, we have incubators as well. So we also help them, not only as an accelerator to the business, but also on how to protect your idea, on how to safeguard your intellectual property and copyrights. All right, so um, before we jump into the issue of data, there's, maybe someone could be watching this saying, okay, so this is fantastic. It's in Nairobi and it's open for everyone in Africa, but mm -hmm. a young person in Nigeria, yes. South Africa, yes. they'll have to go through the same process where they just go online and then key in their details and you'll be able then to connect with them because then again, you'll find that these young people then have ideas, but they're yeah. out of Nairobi, out of Kenya's borders. It could yeah. be Kigali, yes. could be Rwanda. Yeah. I mean, sorry, it could be Nigeria, South Africa. I totally agree with you. So Technobrain has offices in 21 countries in Africa. Oh, okay. So we are um, headquartered here in Nairobi. And then we have offices in, as you said, Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania, Malawi, um, Ethiopia, Liberia, Ghana. So we have 21 countries. Mm -hmm. So if the uh, person is from that country, they can always get in touch with a local company and we can do it. But as you said, there are 54 countries in Africa. And there are more countries in the world. So for everybody to connect, internet is a good method. Mm -hmm. So we have, um, we have various platforms where we can connect with them using the internet, on the email, and also uh, live streaming is available now. Mm -hmm. So we can, we can, as the way we are talking, both of us sitting here, I could be sitting somewhere else and we could be having the same kind of conversation. Mm -hmm. So there are no barriers. Technology is helping to, you know, kind to of... To bridge help. all that. Absolutely. Okay. So thereafter, after you guys test a software, what next? What next? What's the process? So here, Brian has come with, 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 with a fantastic software. It goes through the testing processes. Then what? Is it then launched? Do then Kenyans and people have access to that software? Yeah, so this particular um, technology testing center that we have set up is exclusively for Microsoft. Mm -hmm. So here, uh, when a product is released by Microsoft, before it gets released to the public, uh -huh. so we do the testing on all the different devices and all the different applications which are on that particular product. So when you test it, it's possible that you find some bugs. And it's possible that you find some improvements. So we report back to the engineering team, mm -hmm. the design team, mm -hmm. the developer team. So mm -hmm. they rectify all those, they improve that. And when everybody agrees that yes, this is in a good shape to be released, it gets released to the market in Kenya, across the world. Right? So in the, similarly, if some other um, idea has come and then that is developed, designed, and we do the testing, so if nothing is found, it's good to go, it goes. But again, there is always uh, an improvement uh, required. So next version, we add all the uh, new features. Mm -hmm. and then you test it again, and then you release it to the public. Yeah. And after, so within, how long till do you think we'll be able to see a great software being released here in Kenya? Probably, like you say, the next, I don't want to say Microsoft, yeah. but probably to, to that level of, of impact, the next software that we will say, um, proudly this came from here in Kenya by a Kenyan, just the same way we did with M-Pesa mobile yes. banking, yes. or rather mobile payment. How long do you think it will take for us to, as a nation for us to say, you know what, this software came from right here in Kenya? Yeah. Um, Today, a lot of things are happening mm -hmm. in Kenya, honestly. Yeah. There are so many uh, wonderful products are being released, so many great ideas are being built. A lot of innovation is happening around, including Technobrain, within Technobrain, outside Technobrain in Kenya. So for the, um, for the uh, 
stage that you explain to reach, saying that, yes, this is the product that came out from Kenya. All over the world, people are using it. Uh, it's time now. Mm -hmm. It's time now. Because earlier we had barriers in terms of, if I develop a product here, how do you take it to global level? But now we, we are a company, Technobrain. We started from Kenya. Today we are all over the world, including US, UK, India, Dubai. So we are in 21 countries. So and ideas are brewing now. The, the, the platform is getting built. The lot of products that are uh, coming out now. So in next six months, one year, two years, we'll see great, great products coming out in the market. And to hit that level, yeah, sometimes, you know, it does take time, but it can go viral as well. Mm -hmm. right? Today, with the help of social media and internet, um, let's, let's hope that 2018 is the year that we'll see something like that. Mr. Mohan, this is lastly something that you touched about in regards to data. Now, people's personal information has become quite a big, uh, what can I say, uh, a big point, especially after we saw with Analytica, Cambridge and Facebook happening. So people are very cautious about sharing their personal data. Mm -hmm. How then does Technobrain assure Kenyans or assure its users or assure um, young people who are then coming on board to partner with Technobrain mm -hmm. that your data is safe? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So we have... Um, ISO 27001, mm -hmm. which is the uh, good process to have to protect the information security and the data. And then, as I said, we also have Software Engineering Institute Capability Maturity Model Integration, which is CMMI Level 5. So there are only 200, 200 plus companies in the world. And we are the only company in, in whole of Africa right. who is apprised at that level. So those processes will help us to um, take care of the uh, information security aspects. On top of it, it's end of the day, it's human. So you have to keep on training them. You have to make young people understand how important it is. Mm -hmm. You know, the ethical issues, um, moral issues. And after that, you put the physical security, software security. So it covers on a three-dimensional way. Mm -hmm. And every time you have to keep watching. Because as you said, this is a big thing. If the data gets... Uh, Leaked, used in the wrong way. Absolutely. All right, Mr. Mohan, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All really right. appreciate it. Thank you so much. And of course, that's Anna de Mohan, who is the COO of Technobrain, really helping us understand this new big win here for Africa and more so for Kenya. This launched the first testing software to compete with the likes of China, Poland, and India. When we come back after this commercial break,